Hey, what's up guys? Keaton here. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about the top five largest bank heists of all time. And this is something I've been really interested in for a while. So let's go and get started. And number five is the Securitas Depot. So this happened in 2006 and the robbers got away with $92 million. But what happened was they were able to use brute force and things like that. And they tied up the staff members and hostages and put them in cash cages. That's correct, a physical cage. And were able to walk away with $92 million. So they were later sent to trial, but being put in a cash cage, that just, that's a visual I will never forget. And number four is the Knightsbridge security deposit heist. So this happened in 1987, and Valero Vici, Vici, Vici? He was the main guy in this heist. So basically they were able to steal $200 million just with guns and a lot of men overpowering the staff and he got away with it until he tried to go back to his home country and return his Ferrari. I'm not, I'm not making this up, and that's where authorities caught him. So, moral of the story here is, don't return to go get your car. Just take your 200 million and walk away. And number three is the British Bank of the Middle East heist. And this happened in 1976 and was led by Yasser Arafat's PLO. So they were able to use brute force and they were able to get past all the guards, security members, things like that. And then they used a very skilled locksmith to crack the vault and then steal 20 to $50 million. You're probably thinking to yourself, how does that make this number three? That was the price of gold back then and jewels and things like that and $210 million, you're all set to go. And it just seems to be that brute force will get you a lot of things when you're doing a heist. And number two is the Dar es Salaam heist. So this happened in 2007 and the guys got away with $282 million. So back when the Iraq war was starting, a lot of banks became very vulnerable by people and things like that. So what these guys did overnight, they very stealthily were able to crack the vault and steal all the money. The guards were actually asleep when this all happened. Like they were still asleep by the time when they woke up, checked the vault and saw the doors wide open the next day. If you worked at that bank and saw the vault doors open, just like wide open the next day, that's probably not a good sign you're gonna be working at the bank any longer. And number one is the Central Bank of Iraq heist. So this happened March 18th of 2013, the day before the US started to bomb Iraq in the Iraq war. So Saddam Hussein sent a note to his son, Qusai, basically, and then basically what Qusai, Kusai did is he took that note, went to the bank, and said, hey, I needed all the money in this bank for country purposes, things like that, and the bank gave it to him. He didn't have any guns, and he, he didn't really have that much men with him to overpower the staff, which is kind of something you do in heists. <clears throat> so he stole $920 million in banknotes, gold, jewels, etc., and was able to get away with it. And he was later killed by U.S. forces, but just a note. Take a note to a bank and say, hey, I need all the money. And next thing you know, you almost have a billion dollars. Thanks guys so much for watching this video. Comment down below any other list video topics that you guys want me to cover. I would say comment down below your favorite heist as that's kind of what I typically do with these videos. But I don't know if that's necessarily appropriate for, for what a lot of these banks had to go through. Go and subscribe to the channel to be notified when a brand new list video comes out. It comes out every Tuesday and Friday. And actually go and follow me on Twitter, Snapchat, and Instagram as I'm super active on all those, and I try to respond to every Snapchat and tweet that you guys send me. So go and follow me there. Thanks once again, and I look forward to seeing you guys in my next video.